In Unreal Engine, the game state, as the name suggests, keeps track of the status of the game. That means it stores data that has to be accessible to all players. For example, if we look at online FPS, it could be information such as the scores of the team or the time left of the current round. The game state has the benefit that it exists on both the server and each client. Therefore, it can easily be used to share such information across the different participants of a game. But even in single player games, you can make use of the game state to store information. Like if we look at roguelike games, you could store information about which floor the player is currently on. The game state is easily accessible from most places within the code. In C++, you would call get world, get game state and then provide the class of your game state. In Blueprint, it works very similar where you can use the get game state node and then cast to your custom game state class. You might also have seen that Unreal provides two game state types for the base of your custom game state. The game state and the game state base. Game state base is a simplified version for the game state, but it also already comes with replication for multiplayer scenarios. The game state is an extension of the game state base and it has a stronger focus on matched based multiplayer functionality. Furthermore, it is tied to the functionality of the game mode class. And therefore, the selection of the game mode type can also affect your selection of the game state type, since sometimes their functionality builds on top of each other. As an example for a single player game, it is usually enough to use game state base and game mode base as the parent classes for your individual custom classes. If you have any questions related to the game state in Unreal Engine, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.